our usual suspect, partner in crime, sitting there, making everything happen. Hey, Peter everybody. Stapped. What's up? Welcome. I'm kind of like <laughs> half eating food, so. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And we also have tonight, we've got another special guest. And mm -hmm. um, We do. Well, actually, I should say two special guests. We're going to have two very, very special people. Come on. One, you've had before on here. Actually, both of them. One of them is actually kind of a regular on here, but uh, she's going to be a little bit more involved. They're both my family. Uh, wife Renee and daughter Willow. Willow is actually here, Renee. Come on. Hey, there she is. <laughs> Renee, you're on. Hi. There, there's Renee. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, and there's Willow. Willow right there. So there's Willow. Just thought that we would, uh, we would let let them come on and willow's gonna do a little bit here and there just showing us some of her teddy bears and things like that so uh-huh it's gonna be a fun night we're going to nova scotia tonight and um willow do you want to say anything to the to our friends i guess not <laughs> hey willow you see me hey hey i like your long sleeve shirt that looks comfy oh yeah, these are comfy. Mm -hmm. And it has stars at the very bottom, but you can't yeah, see them. stars on the bottom. Very cool, very cool. Well, if you're joining to paint along tonight, um, I'm going to switch my camera over. And again, like the, I said, this is going to be this really great scene from Nova Scotia. Um, and you can see how... Um, how vibrant the scene is and how colorful the scene is. And uh, Peter, I never sent out a text, by the way, if you I want to. I just did, I got you covered. Okay, cool. Um, but this is what I'm gonna be painting on a black canvas. And I've got cadmium yellow light, quinacridone <laughs> red and ultramarine blue, and then the mixtures in between. And I'm gonna start with this and I'm just gonna, we're just gonna start yapping away and talking and stuff and <laughs> and much. see how tonight goes. I know, I'm not sure, I haven't seen, I haven't seen the comments too much right now yet, but I know that we actually have a, a an Acrylic University member who lives in Nova Scotia. So that's kind of cool. We do. In fact, today, Willow or Renee and I, Renee, did, did you, uh, yeah, well, tell me, have you, you're Canadian. Have you been to Nova Scotia? Are you talking to me, hon? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, have I been to Nova Scotia? No, I've never been that far east, actually. Um, what? my parents have been there a few times. Okay. And, uh, I think it was Nova Scotia, one of those provinces, um, or a couple of them at least. So I just heard the stories of eating seafood and being by the water. And I think they went to Anna Green Gables, an area where the the movie was filmed. Or maybe Prince Edward was, Island? Yeah, Prince Edward Island. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I would really love to go there, though. Yeah. But yeah, Raquel Roth is our member. Though Maybe there's others, too, but she's the one who lives over there. And, she was yeah. excited that we were doing this. I'm not sure if she's here tonight. I haven't seen her name come up, but she was really I have really not either, but I hope yeah. she can make it. I assume, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm imagining she will make it. But okay, I'll be right back. Who knows? In terms of uh, Nova Scotia time, it's like probably, um, you know, maybe like, it's always like a weird time there. I think it's like 930 there or something right now, so... Cause it's like a, it's a, it's East coast plus half an hour. So it's, it's uh yeah, maybe it's past. Oh, wow. their Should I start reading off some people who are here? Yeah, absolutely. Who's here with us? Awesome. So we got Sherry Atherton says hi from Everett. Hey Sherry. My dad's awesome. out there too. If he's, um, Sweet. if he's here, he'll, he'll be joining you from okay. Everett. Um, <laughs> Then Sharon Stritzel, hi from Manchester, Washington. Hey, Sharon. Joan Hitchcock says, hey, everyone. Hey, Joan. Welcome to the stream. Um, Lottie Stout says, hi, everyone, from Lake Stevens. Pam Eckert from Gresham, Oregon. Um, Jean Hudson from Napanee, Ontario. 
Sharon Dretzky from Anacortes, Washington. Um, James Maxwell from Westchester, Pennsylvania. Awesome. Um, and then, yeah, D- Diana Greenman. Hey, Diana, welcome. Good to have you. Sean says, uh, Sean Randlett says hello from New Hampshire. Sweet. Um, hey, New Hampshire is yeah. not too far from Nova Scotia. I'm thinking that's over there. No, it is not. Not too far. Nope. We have um, some Albertans here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm from Edmonton, so I uh, I always have my eyes out for Canadians and Albertans. Nice. Hey, Renee, do you want to come grab this headset? Oh, sure. It'll just make it sound a little bit nicer. Thanks. Yeah, I know. I got you. Renee's doing double duty right now because she's, you know, kind of <laughs> taking care of Willow. And I asked her to come on here for a little while. So she's just reminded me. She said, it's going to be, this is not going to be super easy. And I probably can't stay too long. So if how you have last a minute did you Renee, invite her on? <laughs> how last minute? <laughs> yeah. Well, not that last minute. Oh, well, I mean, maybe it an wasn't hour ago. like. It wasn't like oh, an hour ago. 10 minutes, like one minute ago. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, Friday, sometimes, you know, I mean, I, I actually, we didn't talk, even really talk about it too much this week. Um, it's funny because I'm doing all this work, just trying to set some stuff in. And then I just kind of realized it's probably like, you probably can't hardly see what I'm doing. So <laughs> kind of funny. Renee, can you say something? Yeah. Can you hear me? See, wow, that sounds so nice. Sounds better. Yeah. Yeah. It's way better. Well, Lori's here from Hawaii. Oh, wow. Hey, that's cool. So what um, time would it be there? Like three o'clock in the afternoon. Nice. Yeah, something like that. Um, a couple of people asked me what I'm having for dinner, and it's not super impressive. Just macaroni, carrots, and oranges. So. So. Um, <laughs> How did they know was, you were eating? Oh uh, well, they can. Oh. I mute my mic, and then I kind of reach over and eat a little bit. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, uh, gotcha. It's always okay. kind of last minute on Friday, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. So. So, Jed. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Is this a sunset or a sunrise, do you think? I think it's a sunset. Although, yeah. well, yeah. I, I mean, after having looked at the, the map a little more closely today it does make sense to me at first i was thinking nova scotia that's going to be on the east coast it's going to be looking east you know but this looks like a sunset to me um it even before i looked at the map i was that's what my guess was but then looking at nova scotia i realized like it it points in all directions like it, there's water in every direction depending on yeah. where you are so i do think this is looking west toward a sunset but yeah i wasn't the one who took the photograph so i could oh. be wrong apparently on youtube uh, janet smith says the word live is covering the reference picture on facebook sorry oh yeah so you could move the reference picture right i can do that just yeah, like a move to the right you we know, got I'm you guys gonna we're gonna I'm fix the gonna reference picture that. I'm just going to do that from now on because um, yeah, I'm going to put it over here because we, yeah, keep, we keep having that issue with um, even though I, I like the way it looks the other way personally. <laughs> oh. uh, I do too. But for uh, the same reason, it keeps doing that in different different uh, 
different scenarios like the live class peter is when it, it happens every time like i put it over there in the corner and then people are like i can't see it yeah yeah, yeah exactly um so my parents are here hi mom and dad I see that. <laughs> how cool yeah. say one more papa can you say hi hi <laughs> um so they were asking do you guys know where the reference of the picture is i mean where nova scotia it is you're talking to me? Either of you. Well, I'm the one who found it, I think. Oh, you did? I thought or, Peter did. Oh, did Peter find this? No. I, I, I think, think it so. was my turn, or I think this was Oh, mine. in the title it said Peter's photo, so. Oh, that's because all of them say Peter's photo, because they oh. got that photo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sorry, Sammy. I take these you... off, you guys, sorry. OK, no worries. Um, some of you guys on Facebook, it just says your name is Facebook user. So if we're just like randomly <laughs> ignoring you for some reason, it's not because we're trying to, but it just says Facebook user and we don't really know like who it is. Um, do you know how to, do you have that link on there, Peter? Um, uh, what link? Um, so like there's a link that we can give people if they want to sign in they have to sign in on restream and then it oh. will show their real the real name i do not know what that link is no basic it, it, we'll find it it's somewhere on there um it's pretty it's not that hard to find actually but we don't have to worry about it tonight um Fair. Hey, do you think Willow could uh, do her presentation right now? Yes, I think she could do part of it for sure. Okay. Um, somebody says, hard for us West Coasters to see the sunrise over the ocean. <laughs> yep. Oh, show some Sure. Yeah, it's... Usually over the mountains that we see the sunrise coming up. And I don't know if you were here at the beginning, but our daughter Willow has got a, a few, um, as part of my deal to get Renee to come on here, uh, we made a little deal with Willow that she could show everybody some of her her um they're called stuffies stuffed animals oh yeah stuffies stuffies <laughs> okay so jed you don't know where the scene is right nova scotia <laughs> yeah okay that's what we know okay <laughs> i apologize but we don't know like where I'm, exactly a couple people have asked where I'm like looking. where exactly is it yeah no, no, for sure. I, I mean, you're asking the wrong person if you're asking me because uh, I have never been to Nova Scotia. That's why we're doing the world tour. <laughs> we're going places that we want to see. Okay. See, I've got um, my big brush out. Oh, go ahead, oh, sorry, Peter. Dad. You first, you first. Oh, and no, I was just commenting that I'm using this bigger brush right now just to get in bigger blocks of color and stuff like that. Gotcha. Um, James Dillon says, Diane speaking, who does Will or does Willow like to paint? Actually, yes. Um, we were going to, I don't know if she has anything to show that way, but she has, she loves drawing and she has, um, mm -hmm. she does actually paint every once in a while i don't know she, if she's painted in a little while but no she doesn't paint too much but she draws almost every day i think yeah 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 she does she's we gathering were, some drawings to show you guys yeah we i think we have drawing lessons with willow on the site somewhere don't we oh on youtube yeah she has a couple videos oh on youtube nice <laughs> Well, yeah, I, they might be on the site somewhere, but they're probably hidden somewhere back under, uh, it's like the AU Kids page, which isn't really visible right now. So, Jeff, um, where, where do you think the focal point is? Somebody was asking that. What would you say, yeah. what would you make the focal point on here? 
Well, this boat right here um, yeah. is probably going to be, you know, the focal point. But, I mean, there's a lot of light up here. And, yeah. um, but, I mean, that's my idea is basically to make this boat. I'm just trying to kind of work around and and develop the painting and then kind of i'll try to keep some of the harder edges down here sometimes you know like every once in a while you do something and you think like well you know what maybe i'll just take that boat out and make this up here the focal point but right now my plan is to keep that yeah uh, what Someone, blue are you using is that is that this blue? is ultramarine blue oh it is okay yeah i i said these at the beginning but i guess um Probably not a lot of people were on here when I said it, but this is cadmium yellow light. Um, this is quinacridone red. And this is ultramarine blue. Oh, I guess you can't really see where I'm pointing, but um, that's ultramarine blue. Oh yeah, you guys can't really see. No, um, but yeah, that's too bad that those things couldn't go up. I could turn this around. Let me go like this. Does that <laughs> make sense? You could. That throws me off big time. <laughs> I can that, do it. Yeah. No, if, you no, put your, you if you put those, your faces down there, though, it won't cover it up, will it? Uh, no, no. You, you should flip it back, and then I'll I'll do it like I'll do it this way, like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's gonna, okay, okay. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wasn't that weird? So like, even for right. you, it was weird. <laughs> yeah, even for me, I was like, that makes me uncomfortable. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but we have a couple, we have like a, a couple, a couple good questions. We also have another donation from Jigger. He donated oh, 20 Canadian dollars. Wow. We appreciate that Jigger. It's yeah. very kind of you to be supporting our YouTube channel. Absolutely. He says Nova Scotia has had one hell of a horrible year or two. Um, Here's to another, or here's to a brighter 2021. Cheers to everyone down east. Wow. I don't know what's been going on over there that's been hard. I actually have no clue on that. I mean, that's. Neither. Maybe he's just referring to COVID. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe the, the economy's been hit extra hard or something. Joan asks, uh, what size is the big brush? Uh, this is a number 16. Um, you can see right there, it's just nice. the same catalyst flat, but. Hey, John and Peter. Um, so Willow has six drawings to show and okay. she has six mm. stuffed animals to share too. Wow. Okay, okay cool. Okay. You want to do the drawings? We're ready. Okay. Um, my first drawing is a little I drew a really long time, well, not a really long time ago. How can I see it? <laughs> That's cool, Willow. That's awesome. Um, then this one was like my second, no, my first, no. One of well, the first ones? One of the, no, one of the last ones I did. I mean, like, recently. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yesterday oh, okay. I did a swimsuit. Um, Do they have names, Willow? Uh, yeah, Uncle Jason, my uncle named them, but I forgot all of them. Because oh. I have, like, way more in my room and then way more, like, just scattered around the house. But I, I only found a few of them. And then, but there was more in my room, but I only had to pick six. So. Oh, yeah. No, that's but. Nice. Jamie says, awesome, Willow. Love your drawings. Awesome, Willow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who is this one? Oh, she has a heart on her shirt. Aww. Yeah. And then I have two more. Okay, two more. Oh, she has uh, a really cool shirt. I, yeah, I, I really like her necklace and her shirt. Her nice. That's cool, Willow. I do. Yeah, that's awesome. That was you did that yesterday too. Yeah, I also did this. Yeah, okay. And one wow. last but not least. Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Nice, Will. Okay, how about we watch uh, Daddy paint for a few minutes and then you can do your stuff down, okay? Um, that's cool. 
Well, thanks for showing us. Yes, yeah, for sure. Excellent. You're very good. You have your own um, style. Awesome job. <laughs> so we had a good question earlier. Well, for starters, uh, back to the Nova Scotia thing. Um, somebody said, uh, no, we had a mass shooting here in Nova Scotia as well as dealing with COVID. It was very sad. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, sorry to hear that. Um, it's crazy. Hopefully 2021 will be better. I'm praying. Praying for you guys. Yeah. Um, Carol says, with so much orange in the photo, why not start with an orange background? Um, well, I don't usually, I always, I almost always paint with a black background on Friday Night Live just because it's yeah. fun. And, uh, but I, I don't, I don't necessarily use the dominant color to tone my canvas. Um, even if, even if it, like I might have a gray, like if the day was super gray, I might, I might tone my canvas orange because then the, the orange will kind of come through and it will counteract like all the grayness of the day. So that's kind of a little bit of the way that I think is I'm not, I'm not necessarily trying to match the, the color that's, that's there. I'm, I'm thinking more about, um, maybe just the feel overall, but, but in terms of this kind of thing, I, I just, I, I'm so into, painting on a black canvas for Friday Night Live that that's kind of like the go-to one. Even though last week when we're painting, when I painted with Dana Shine, I painted on a gray canvas. Um, but that was mostly because I couldn't find a, a black pre-toned canvas. So. Well, I think when you're doing video like this, the, the black makes the colors really kind of pop out. Like they're easy to see. I think it looks good. Yeah, I mean it, it's 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 kind of easy to tell the progress in the painting with yeah. a black canvas. Um, yeah. But that's not why I started painting on a black canvas either. So it's like black was one of my favorite colors that I learned to paint on from Mike Svob, a Canadian painter. So in honor of him, <laughs> nice. uh, we'll we'll call it. But but basically, it's it was like the first painting that I did that I felt really good about it was done on a black canvas. And I think that partly because of that, I've always liked it. It was like beginner's nice. luck. but Like in your formative painting years, you got yeah, a really good one totally. and that stuck like, with you. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Um... Can I, uh, stream, can you guys hear me okay? Like, compared to Jed, do I sound okay? Because I know we've had trouble with that past week. You sound really checking. good to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jed, I kind of thought that you used orange to tone your canvas because you do so many landscapes. And in the landscapes, there's often a lot of coolness in the shadows and... Yeah. Um, yeah. So I thought it was just to like create um, like a contrast between warm and cool, you know. Well, yeah. What I was saying earlier is just that I don't necessarily think that much about what I'm painting. I just will tone a canvas deep. You know, um, it's a little bit more random for me what I do, but yeah. but that is a reason that you you might tone that was kind of what i was saying about a gray day is that oh, to balance it out yeah yeah it'll add color into yeah. it um yeah and it's you know i don't know art is there's you could paint one thing that's fun about painting on different colors is that you can paint the same scene and it feels like a completely different painting if you do it on different different colors mm -hmm. you know i could paint this on a on four different canvases with four different toned you know to different colors of toning and um and it would kind of come across different and it would the process would be a bit different every time 
So yeah. I like I like using different colors. Um, yeah. And there's not really any right or wrong. Mm hmm. Now, isn't that funny? Because I just was thinking about how what I just said, and I said, and there isn't really any right or wrong. And it just made me think about <laughs> when I was in journalism as a as a college student. I remember like hearing about you know what do they call it logical fallacies? No, I can't remember the names, but uh -huh. like the things that you can do to make make it sound like somebody said something that they didn't say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I I did just say there is really no right or wrong. <laughs> uh, what was the context though? Like it yeah. had. You know what I mean? But you, you could you could say, oh, Jed thinks there's no right or wrong. Listen, he just said this, right? Uh, I don't know. It's just interesting how that how that is. You can take um, things out of context and it changes the meaning. <laughs> the media is pro at that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Judy Heim says, are you painting with Windsor Newton Pro Acrylics tonight? They look really juicy and nice. Have you tried the clear yeah. gesso yet? No, this is still this is still the uh, the uh, Windsor Noon paints. I have not the clear gesso. No, I think maybe maybe somebody mentioned that, and I said I was interested in trying it or something. I don't I don't know. I don't remember for sure. I get gotcha. too many things in my head, too many <laughs> ideas. Don't remember yeah, them same. all. Joe, do you want to share about the commission that you're working on? Yeah, for sure. Um, no, that's okay. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, Renee's referring to that painting back there, which I can't really show you a Whoa. better view because it's out of, um, it's out of focus. So, but it's a scene, um, from Rome, I believe. Again, a place I've never been, but it's a commission for somebody who went to school really close to there. And, um, yeah, it's pretty fun, fun to paint. Big three foot by four foot canvas. And I toned it with a combination of uh, this color, which is transparent red iron oxide. And um, I put on there some dioxazine violet also. And then I just, well, actually before that I had taken, um, Renee was asking me what I used to, cause I had, I had kind of drawn out the drawing with black gesso. And so uh, again, another thing I learned a long, long time ago from Mike Svob when I took my very first workshop um, way back long ago. And he, he basically painted in a few different ways. One that I already mentioned was he painted on a black canvas, but he also used black gesso one day to, um, to like draw the scene on. And then another day he, I, I can't remember for sure what he did. I think he used, I think he used, black paint one day too, but I don't remember for sure. And then he toned over the top of those. And that's what I did today. Basically, I, mm -hmm. I took the, the black, I put it down and then I toned over the top. So. And you, uh, yeah. you used a pencil to put on to, to do the initial sketch and you, you oh, used yeah. a, a big grid you had all these squares all over the canvas. I did. And I don't know if I've ever seen you. You don't do that very often. But no, there's so many yeah, there's so many buildings in there, I think it was Well, you know, sometimes in the past when I've had a scene that's a little bit complicated and onto a big a big canvas, I just cheat and I cuz I get lazy and I don't want to do the drawing work. I just want to do the painting work and so mm -hmm. I just like I, and I just have used a projector. So I'll just like oh, project yeah, yeah. it on there and it's way easier. But it, it wasn't that hard to do it this way. I did I I just used a grid 
Um, I can show you what I did. I took my reference, which I had, this is a combination of a photograph and me working with the photograph to make the design. But you can see I just divided it in half this way and then I divided it in quarters. And then I, I drew the same grid out on my canvas just so that I could make sure that I got things placed where they needed yeah. to go. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Nice. Yeah, I didn't make that up. That's that's like a pretty common thing that people have done for a long time in terms of yeah. just it's like yeah. you know ma making good uh, accurate drawings. But it's it was it was like honestly, I think it was the first time I've really done it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any large scale, so yeah, I felt good about it. I mean, I think it was it was definitely helpful. It gave me peace of mind that I was. I was not like way off on anything. Yeah. The uh -huh. worst is when you, you put on, you know, you do this work, you get, you get a bunch of time into your painting and then you realize that your drawing is significantly off and you kind of have to repaint something because yeah. it, just for whatever reason. And uh, so like if you have the prep work done and you can feel good about where things are at that way. It, it's it's definitely nice, and it it kind of yeah um, yeah well, relieves the, your mind. Yeah, well, one of the members today was working on a commission, and they posted how you know how challenging it is, like when there's buildings, like you can't yeah. just be loose and free. Like yeah, it needs to be accurate. Mm -hmm. You know, with a yeah, landscape, sure. you can a tree could look a lot of different ways, and so. Yeah, you, you kinda, can adjust things. <laughs> yeah, but it's more rigid if you if you're doing actual buildings. Like the perspective actually has to be right. Yeah, it's the difference between painting a. It's it's the same kind of difference between painting a, a person and painting a. Yeah. A tree, you know, nobody yeah. cares where the branches go really, but as long as the design looks good. But when it's a person, a person's nose, you really care. Like yeah. where their noses and where their eyes are, and buildings are similar in that, or a boat, you know, something like this. Like we all kind of have a reference point because we've seen a boat before. We know what they're kind of supposed to look like, even if this is maybe a different boat or something like that. But it's that type of idea that we're not going to be quite as forgiving of the mistakes on something that that we. Yeah. will you know tend to think we know what it is yeah and it has it has a definite structure mm -hmm. um we have a couple or just a couple things i want to read um ann says ann kitchener says i'm making my high school art students practice grid drawing this quarter uh they groan when they have to set up the grid but they're usually pretty pleased with the end result hmm. yeah that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I feel like it, it is. It is a little bit. It's a little slow. It's a little bit painstaking yeah. in some ways, but it's a it's a really good skill to have. Yeah. Yeah. All your proportions end up pretty good like that. Yeah. I've done it before too. It's very helpful. Oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah, a long time ago. Okay. I guess I need to apologize to my dad because a while ago, he um. We tried painting like three or four years ago. Yeah. And he painted us in a Pike Place Market and he did that. He made a grid. Oh, and he yeah. He like copied it onto his thing, but it took him forever. And I was like, <laughs> that's not painting, dude. What are you doing? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's funny. Uh, uh, but, um, planning. Like, planning is very helpful. Exactly. Um, we had, this is an interesting question. Someone said, would you say that your painting style is uniquely yours? Um. I think that over time it's developed into something that other people say they recognize, which I think is kind of interesting because I don't necessarily always wouldn't. Ne I, I, let me say it this way. I don't know how I would describe my own personal painting style. So um, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, I mean, Besides, I know what I do, but I, I don't know how I would necessarily describe it. But then I have other people say that they they would 
recognize it, you know. So, yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, so I guess I'd say yes, because it's probably easier for other people sometimes to see mm -hmm. stuff than your, your yourself. I think it's interesting how you go to workshops and like when you learn from somebody, you you kind of take on their style in a way, but then if you do a bunch of workshops, I don't know, in the end, you kind of develop your own style. You kind of take yeah. bits and pieces from everybody. Like I can see Robert again in your stuff because he did a lot of negative painting, didn't he? Yeah, totally. Yeah, and that reminds me of him. Um, but sometimes your colors remind me of Mike Swab, but they're not yeah. as kind of brilliant as his. Yeah. But they're bright. I don't know. It's But you're your own yeah. person, so. Yeah, you, t you know, like there's a hundred influences. You look at things, yeah. that's your own personality, and uh, it all over time kind of shapes you, but it's slow and it's, it's, it doesn't all happen at once, right? Like I, I really do think that it's how many paintings have you painted? You can't really expect necessarily to have a real distinct style when you start out because mm -hmm. you're just starting out. I mean, maybe the style is, it stinks. <laughs> I'm just mm -hmm. joking. But I mean, that's kind of the thing. It's like when I started out, I don't know if I'd say I had a style, but I was, I wasn't that good either, but I tried and I liked it and it was fun, you know, but like I was just copying what other people did around me. Yeah. Over time, you know, you cop, like you said, I would copy one artist and then I would kind of pull some of it into who I was and then some of it would go away, but then I'd go to another workshop and, uh, that would become a little bit like part of who I was. Yeah. I, you know, but a lot of it, like I always feel like it's probably like maybe 15% stays with you. Maybe probably mm -hmm. less than that. Probably like mm -hmm. yeah. 5% or 10% or 5% or something. After and a workshop, you mean of what you kind yeah, of take away? If, if yeah. You go to a workshop in six months, how much is that going to be affecting yeah. you? Mm -hmm. You know, it's right. really a pretty small amount. Like that mm -hmm. first week or when you're in the workshop, it's going to be pretty high. It's going to be like maybe like 50% or something like that. But, I mean, honestly, yeah. as you go away from there, yeah. the, the impact goes away. You forget things. You start falling into your own habits you, or you mm -hmm. just morph the ideas into your own style. Yeah. So yeah. it's like. Yeah. yeah. Um. The you know the members copy your paintings a lot, and uh, but today, one of them posted a painting of her own, and she said, "Oh, like taking Jed's lessons, I can see that it's helped me in my own paintings." And um, yeah. that was really cool to hear. I mean, mm -hmm. you learn by copying. It's good to copy, but it's really mm -hmm. cool when you see members well, launching off and applying it to their own paintings. Well, that's where it starts. The rubber starts meeting the road, right? Is like. You, you, if you're, if you, if you never actually try your own, your own uh, image or your own thing, then you won't even know if you've been able to learn, um, you learn any of it. Right. Because it's yeah. really, it really is, you know, um, that application part of it, that is where it's going to come out. But what, what I still think is interesting, even, even having said that, you know, like, we know because we see so many different people, right? Like so many different students come through, but how different is everybody, right? Mm -hmm. and, and like, yeah. I always think that that's interesting too, because no matter if, if you like, for, for instance, if I'm trying to copy an artist, I can't. Part of who I am is always yeah. going to come through in what I do. And so like, there's a sense in which I don't even care. I, I, when I go to workshops, I always say, I'm just going to try to copy it verbatim, like as closely as I can. I'm going to try mm -hmm. to do exactly what they do. Cause I'm not worried at any, any more about not 
becoming my own painter. I you will become your own painter if you keep yeah. if you just keep painting. It's yeah. really people who who if if you stop painting, you don't develop your own style. But if you just keep painting, you develop yeah. your style. Like it will yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Someone says, um, it just says Facebook user, unfortunately, but it says, as your student, you do that. You paint, and I'm trying to figure out what you were doing, especially with your brushwork. I've learned so much about color from you, composition, and just being creative and encouraged. Love to have you talk more in your classes about how you put the paint on the canvas with your brush. Okay. Well, thanks for the encouragement. Um, how I put the paint on my canvas with the brush. Now, I don't know if you're talking about in this this is, I, I, I will say this just because I, this isn't really a, a, an intentional like teaching time, but, um, but I know that sometimes I do talk about random stuff and it probably drives people crazy when they're like, just tell me what you're doing. And I'm talking about like some experience I had or, or something like that. So I do, I totally get that. Um, I'll, I, I always say I'm going to work on stuff, and I really do. I, I really try. Uh -huh. Don't I, guys? Come on. Like, yes. give me a little credit. I, I really do. <laughs> you do. Yes. We've you changed do, so much because of feedback that we get from people. Like, uh -huh. it's been so helpful to have real people <laughs> telling us this is more helpful <laughs> than that. Because when know. we started, we were just guessing. We, <laughs> like, we, we were so naive, dude. We were like, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's funny yeah, looking no, it back. Bad. Looking back at this stuff, I just – I just laugh, but I'll tell you yeah. a little bit about what I'm doing here. I mean, it's, there's nothing like in my mind, it's like, it's not raw. It's not, um, that special because all I'm not like trying to do is I'm, I'm like looking at where these posts are or these pillars or piers or whatever. And I'm just like going, okay, there needs to be a reflection generally that comes down opposite that. And so I don't want to like cut that off. You know, I, I want to kind of keep something dark there. And then I'm thinking like there's these boats that are hidden underneath this little dock. And mm -hmm. so I'm like just kind of like making them dark shapes. But again, I'm like just kind of like looking and trying to see where would – where is the light kind of poking through? Where is where is there a little reflection back here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not – uh, Yeah, I see you using the side of your brush a lot. Like that? Yeah, like with horizontal lines. Yeah, I'm just getting a little bit more of the feel, trying to get a little bit of the feel of the the water um, mm -hmm. with that. And I'm about to start going around to other parts of the painting, you know, and uh, I guess just like filling in, right? I mean, yeah. this water up here is so different than this water down here in the in the photograph. It's like it's um, um, all rippled and a little bit choppier, so it doesn't have quite the pure reflection. So it looks like it's a lot more blue in there. Um, so yeah, we'll see see what happens with that. Yeah, there's a, you've done a couple videos on brush strokes, actually. There's one in the membership in the FAQs. It's on variety of brush strokes. And then you did a YouTube video also on three different types of brush strokes. Maybe okay, I'll, yeah. I, I can put those in the community because people are saying, I need help with brush strokes. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, there's a lot of variety that you can do. I mean, I can show you like a few brush strokes right now that, like you have your normal like flat brush stroke, right? Like, like just using the the flat end of the brush to carve mm -hmm. or you know do something like that. Then you have stuff like what I was doing earlier, where it was with the edge of the brush, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. And then you have things like, well, I don't really have a good place to do it, but I'll just show like a little bit where I'm, I'm taking the side of the brush and I'm kind of like dragging it like this and you can yeah. do like all sorts of scratchy brush marks that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. you can also do things like, um, like a very light br brush stroke, which can tend to look like a dry brush, yeah. you know, 
you can get a lot of softer edges and stuff yeah. like that with with a with brush strokes like that. So that's just like what, yeah. however many that was like well, four. Yeah, four and then you ones, have but. Diana who flips her brush around and scratches the and canvas scratches. with the backside. Yeah. Oh yeah, she yeah. does. Like for texture. Yeah. 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 All the time. Okay. Like. Yeah, she cool. does. Um, maybe part of it is also knowing which brush stroke to use when. Yeah. You know, how do you know when to use? Are you you were using the side of your brush when you were doing those kind of skinny horizontal lines, which makes sense. Um, yeah. Maybe what, have a bigger surface. Do you use like the flat part of your brush? Yeah, and 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 sometimes it's it really is just about trying to use variety. Because sometimes I'll yeah. get stuck in a place where I think, oh, man, I've just been doing the same type of brush stroke this whole time. And you're painting basically, yeah. not to be mean, but for my own paintings, at least, they, they end up being more, I, I just think they're boring. They're more boring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the, the kind of visual interest that even just a little, like, even just what I did there, like even to come back over and to make it a softer edge somewhere or to do something that's going to be a yeah. little bit different will <laughs> always make it more interesting. And um, mm -hmm. so I, I think just like the most general rule I can say is use variety. Just if yeah. you feel like you're getting stuck doing something, yeah, just take a break and switch it up. Like do something so, a little bit. So the direction of the brush stroke the shape, the size, the color paint, you know, all those things, right? Like I've seen you, yeah. like even on those rocks there, I see your, your blue brush strokes. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. Well, because I was just using the big brush and I was just like yeah, putting on yeah. thing. And that's the other thing is, I mean, there's a huge difference between the size of these, right? And so if yeah. you want to, um, I mean, that's another way to bring variety in is just to change the size of your brush because yeah, yeah. You, if you, uh, you know, always, again, are using the same brush, mm -hmm. it'll tend to, and sometimes it's okay. Like, I mean, it, it's so much of it really just depends on how, how your, your paintings can look really good. Even we have a, I have a friend I'm going to take a workshop with him. If anybody wants to come, you're welcome to join me. There's still room. I'll, I'll uh, just throw this out there, but I'm taking a workshop with Wyatt Legrand at um, first brush of spring in new harmony, Indiana. And um, that is April. What? I don't remember. April. Mid -April. Yeah. <laughs> and anyways, he, I, I haven't taken a workshop with him. I've painted with him a couple times, but I haven't really paid attention to what he's doing because I'm paint, painting also. But my one of my our friends like took a workshop with him, and she said he used one brush the whole painting. Like he would do. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a number, like, like something like this, like a number ten or a number eight or a number six, something in there. And yeah. and if you look work you can see kind of what i mean after she said that i was like i went back and kind of looked and i thought oh yeah i can i can kind of see how that might be true like he he doesn't necessarily change the size of the brush but he's got very definite like very nice brush strokes his paintings are awesome and you would never think oh they're boring or they're they you know he doesn't Mm -hmm. Yeah. Use enough brush brush strokes or different brush strokes or whatever. It's just like he knows how to do what he's doing, and so mm -hmm. you can get away with it. Is I guess what I'm saying. If you know what you're doing, you can you can do things different than yeah what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, Darina's asking what his name is. It's Wyatt Legrand. Um, yeah. L E G R A N D. He's actually a teacher, right, Jed? He just paints part time. I think, I think. there might even be an E on the end of his last oh, name. Oh, there too. might be, yeah. 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 I, and I think he's an art teacher. Yeah, he is. He's an he's art teacher. Of, he's young, he, too, isn't he? Like, 
He's Your probably age or younger? 30, 30, oh, maybe 30, 32 or something, maybe 35. Is he I don't that know. Young? Oh, wow. Yeah. He's pretty young. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, maybe he might be older. He's, he's, yeah, but he's, he's quite a bit younger than me. Yeah, like maybe he's, 35, but. He's a great artist, and yeah, um, do you remember he won that award at Carmel on Canvas? That I remember year. every award. I remember every award he's won because he's always beaten me. <laughs> no, not so, always, but no, he won that one. If he wins an award, it means he beat me. So <laughs> I have beaten him like once in, that I can think of, but <laughs> but he oh, generally um, was always a little bit better than me in the you know like in in those competitions so yeah. i definitely know what i i know i ke i kept track of him he was my he was like one of my main <laughs> guys that i feel like. yeah. yeah i was so happy the year that i i knew i beat him but the bummer was that i still didn't win the like the grand prize but i was like my painting that year I was like so proud of it and everything. And I was like, there's no way that I'm not going to win this one. And I even had so many people say, Oh, yours is the best, you know, like, and then I yeah. didn't win. <laughs> oh, that was a bummer, but it was still worthwhile just knowing that I'd beaten at least like him that one year. So, Oh boy. So it just, he paint oils or acrylic. Whoever told you that art isn't all about competition was lying to you. It's all about competition. Okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody oh boy, thinks, now Mimi Rossi says she thinks she found him online, but does he paint an oil, Jed? Yeah, he's an oil painter. He's an oil. And he paints almost like, he, he paints lots of interesting um, things like, oh boy, he paints so many interesting scenes, like kind of farm scenes or weird under the i'm just looking for something here um and when you're done that willa would love to present her six favorite stuffed animals oh, if you guys yes. are open to that okay that would be perfect i would love to see those okay um okay. yeah have her do it right now okay. actually okay okay sounds okay, good ready, willa? Ready to take the stage? All Do right. it. I'll swap you out. There you go, Willow. Okay. My first stuffy. The biggest and the first one. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Biggest and the first one. <laughs> I you remember that. Very big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I took Big's many a nap on that one yeah. when the I lived with you guys. His, his name was Big Bear, and we got him in a garage sale. Here, <laughs> Okay, and why is he your favorite? One of your he, favorite? One of my favorites. Uh, because he's really big and sometimes he, he usually sleeps a lot, but sometimes Danny wakes him up and he tries to tickle me and he has this really cute voice. Okay. He's really big. Okay, cool. Who's number two? That's awesome. Okay, number two is a bunny that I got after I did my gymnastics competition. Speakers. Nice. Speakers, I love speakers. Yeah. <laughs> speakers is so soft, so cute, really tiny, and just he's easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, number three. Three is Piggy. Piggy. <laughs> yeah, Piggy. Nice. Is it Piggy? I love Piggy because um, when if you warm him up in the microwave, he gets really hot. Like he's one of those stuffed animals where like you can warm him up and then he gets like really hot, and then he smells like lavender. He, he's supposed to smell like lavender, but he smells like breakfast sandwiches <laughs> because my dad I used to eat breakfast sandwiches. It smells like honeycomb sandwiches. And violet, I mean, lavender, <laughs> lavender mixed all together. So he smells pretty weird, but but he's 
Oh, that's cool. Together. It's a little bunny. This is it. She made it out of a sock. Here's this wee little tail. <laughs> and this is a combo. This is buttons. This is a button. And then. And this is how many stuff did you have, Lolo? Um. Did you ever count them? No, but because I think it'll take like five hours to count them. I honestly <laughs> do. I have like. I, like I, when we clean my room, we have like we think of the most weirdest places to put them because I have so many. Like it's just like some like over here, some over there, some over here, some over there. Like they're everywhere in my room. Okay. Oh no, number which number are we on? Uh, five. Five. This is five. Okay. I got this plushie. Uh, for from who? From my aunt Melanie, and I got it. Um, on Christmas Eve, oh. um, I was at my aunt, aunt auntie's house, and and like there's this human is the last present, and I opened it, and then I screamed, and then I started rolling around <laughs> on the floor with this. It was so cool because this is the first plushie I ever got in my life, and my only one. Okay, number three. And it's a unicorn. And my last one. Now this is my favorite stuffy that I have ever had. I've had it since I was zero. Presenting <laughs> belly. Yep. I knew that was coming. Where did okay, you get well, Thank you so much for doing that. That is awesome. Belly is from my mom and dad. When Willa was um, born, they gave her this pair. Yeah. Okay, mm. awesome. Thank okay. you, Belly. You did a good job. Thanks. 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 Um, yeah, fun. Very fun. Um, oh, I was going to show you guys something here now that I have have the... So I was going to show you Wyatt Legrand. So this is Wyatt Legrand's website here. And you can see, I mean, he paints a lot of different things. Um, and you can kind of see what I was talking about. I could imagine these being painted in with relatively limited brush, you know, um, but paints a lot of interesting stuff and he's got a lot of, lot of, uh, like he, he's got, he's a really good at drawing. He does a lot hey, of good Jed, work with, could you hide yeah. the reference photo so people can see his name? Oh, sorry. Like, just move it out. No worries. Yeah. I forgot the reference photo was there. Oopsie. There we go. Is that better? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, then I'll show you. This is what I'm doing is this workshop with him, Wyatt Legrand, painting representationally, unconventionally. It's a two-day <laughs> workshop, but it's part of the uh, first brush of spring, which is seriously my favorite, probably my favorite plein air event. Uh, just cause, well, I'm, I'm used to it. And uh, so it's gonna be like fun to go back and see people. But anyways, if anybody ever did think, oh yeah, I'm up for that. I mean, be fun if you wanted to come. I can only say good things about First Brush of Spring and good things about Wyatt Legrand, but it's a little bit spinning. It's a little bit far away if you're not close. And Although, uh, thank, I have to say, oh, I, we, oh no, I was just going to say that the awesome thing for us is that we've got a lot of air miles, and I think that my my flight is pretty much like thirty bucks or something for whatever whatever the fees are that the air miles don't cover. Yeah, so that was pretty awesome. I just want to thank you all for watching Willow's stuffy presentation. Yeah. As you see, she loves her stuffed animals and um, she kind of likes to perform too, like her dad. So thanks for being her audience tonight. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Absolutely, yeah. yeah like I you. remember when I was there. <laughs> like Renee. What? What did yeah. you say, Peter? Um, I, I don't like to perform. What are you talking about? <laughs> um. Man, yeah, I remember when she was there. She would like she'd show me stuff all the time. Like, look at this thing I filmed of like me doing, or like um, her and her friends yeah. would put together like this stage set, and then they'd want to show me and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 She loves. She loves <laughs> to perform. Uh, Definitely. Yeah. She had her first gymnastics competition on the weekend. She did really well. I was proud of her. Nice. Yeah. She did. She's pretty pretty good at gymnastics. Like she's uh really flexible, like super flexible to the point where it like kind of is like, oh don't, please don't do that, because that <laughs> looks like it hurts. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. But um heard if we tried, that's for sure. What did she do? She got a she got third place in one. Third event. place and all around. Oh yeah, third place all around in her. This is not really a. It's just her, within her own, um, her own gym. like, yeah, her own gym. But still, we were very proud of her. <laughs> <laughs> first place all around, and or third place all around, and then she got first place for the for bar. bars. Um. But she actually she, hired one of her best friends for, for that first place. It yeah. was a time between her and her good yeah. friend. I was proud of her because she um, she didn't get really stressed out about it. Like She seemed really calm, and um, she just had a good attitude about everything. And, good for her. Um, I mean, I was super happy she won something, but I was just happy she was able to handle like kind of the pressure of it. Not that uh -huh. it was like high pressure, but... She's never done anything like that before ever in her life. Yeah. So I just, I thought she handled it well, though. I'm proud of her. I want to come yeah. to one of her competitions in the future. Oh, yeah. They actually yeah, have yeah. one at the end. She has three more this spring. Nice. Oh, so. like, well, you said well, I didn't really mean that that quick, but I was thinking like like in 10 years when... No, no, no I mean, I was thinking whenever and when she's in the Olympics, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of yeah, course. yeah. I no, actually, a... only one parent can be in the building, but they do it on Zoom. I could give you the Zoom oh. link if you wanted to watch it. So. Oh, <laughs> You're like, right. oh, no thanks. We're going through a global pandemic or something. I forgot about that yeah. detail. Still, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's uh, I just the sad part is I didn't even watch the Zoom thing. I was like sitting in the coffee shop working, and I. I just couldn't bring myself to watch the Zoom thing because I was like, it's going to be very disappointing. You know how if you watch, remember that event we went to, Peter? Because you came to us, with us, to a gymnastics event, remember? That was so fun. I was looking at that footage recently, actually. It was super fun, but it was live. And But remember how it was still kind of hard to keep track of everything? It was. Well, there's like so many events going on at once. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I don't know if that's the way that this event was, but I was just imagining how, if I was trying to watch that on a little screen, like would I even be able to see very much? I don't know. Well, so, Willow did Willow did four um, routines, and they were each about twenty five seconds. So, and the, it was about four or five hours for the whole thing. So it's it's not really worth watching online. <laughs> I mean, you can, but. I don't know. You just have to have it playing in the background, and I could text you and tell you when she's coming on or something. Because yeah, anyway, it's a lot of lot of extra time on there. It's the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. It's looking good, Jed. Oh, thanks. I appreciate your encouragement. <laughs> Anytime. I do. <laughs> sometimes Renee's very encouraging to me, and and sometimes. Um, I'll be like a little bit suspicious of it. Like you might not know that I'm suspicious of it all the time, but there's a couple, like yesterday you were being really nice to me about something. And I was like, why is she being so nice to me about oh, this? Right that's not nice though. There no, must be a reason not. why you think like that. 
Yeah, I know. You must have had some kind of ulterior motive. <laughs> Uh, somebody's asking about the next live Saturday workshop, and it is next Saturday, March 13th, mm -hmm. 9.30 Pacific. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a really good time. It is going to be a good time. Y'all better be there. Um, I think you still have to pick the photo, don't you, Jen? Uh, no, I, I ha well, I have, I have, I, I actually have something, but I need to make sure that, well, I do kind of need to go through and just make sure that it's going to work well, but I do have some, I mean, I have an idea of the, um, I have, I have a photo, but I need to make sure that it fits with the theme well enough and that we can accomplish it. I don't want to set us up for something mm -hmm. that's going to be too difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the idea was to go to Nova Scotia for it, wasn't it? But I don't yeah, know if you're still doing that. that. We no, we changed it. Okay. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I like that highlight on the boat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm. It's probably. What time is it? Seven oh seven. Okay. I'm gonna. We should probably get people to fill in their uh, text the word win in if they haven't oh, yeah. already. Let me full screen it. You guys, I'll put it in the chat. Um, so we're going to get this up here in a second. Away. Yep. Text somebody's, in. Oh, yeah. Somebody's asking <laughs> if the live class is only for Acrylic University students. And um, no, it's not actually. I need to set up a link. Um, you can come to it. But I need to set up yeah. the link to, to buy by the class. So I can share that in the miniature community. Just need to set that up. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's something that we often sell separately. We've even I actually we're probably going to sell a package for it eventually if you are part of the miniature community. Um, like the next round of the miniature challenge, I'm going to probably make it um, like a, an offer that you could add to your miniature thing. And I was thinking that because I'm doing that and I didn't do that when you, if you're part of the miniature challenge, when you joined, it wasn't, it wasn't an offer. I'm probably going to come back into the community and just, give you at least a link to it so that if if somebody was interested in that they could they could do that but that would be a deal that would um include i think we're thinking 12 12 or like a year of live classes so yeah um should we are we supposed to get a response to our text yes so if you don't get a response you probably texted my number or something like that <laughs> um so does it help if i type win more than once no you can't increase your number of entries by uh typing win more than once Peter, does this number work for canadians uh I it don't should, know. It should work for, for canadians it yeah. should work for canadians but i don't the only thing i don't know is that if you've already entered if it will keep sending you back the auto response like if you entered on a previous week i don't i'm not 100 percent sure if it will yeah you know, that's do that. the only thing oh it looks like uh i mean a couple people are texting multiple times and it's giving them the response each time so okay well there you go yeah Yay. Perfect. Jed, how close are you to being done? About 10 minutes or less. Actually, I should say less. Probably about five minutes. Sandra Wilkerson. Yeah. Um, she says, I'm never getting response. I'm definitely texting the right number. Are you, it only supports the US and Canada. Um, it doesn't matter if you have an iPhone, does it, or an Android? No. Well, ha, you, um, okay, so if you, 
if you've never if you're not in my is she a contact peter can you check and see if she's a contact in the system yeah, sandra wilkerson yeah i'm she is a contact okay we got well, her text so she we got her text we didn't get an auto response not, it's not giving her a response back huh i don't know yeah. no terry clue. terry carlson let me see terry we got your response as well so i don't know um I'm not exactly sure. Huh. I don't. It. It looks like it's giving responses to some of you and not to others. So I don't know exactly what the deal with that is. But regardless, you're still entered to win, um, because of the way that we choose winners. So we're we're seeing your texts come in. So. It's probably my fault. Let's just say that. That's what I do around <laughs> it's here. All Jed's if, fault. I, if there's ever a problem, I just say, it's, you know what? It. It's my Renee. My fa her favorite words to come out of my mouth are, I was wrong, you were right, Renee. That's not yeah. true. <laughs> well, oh, it, does oh. get, it does get a smile out of you every time. I know, I know what it is. I know what it is. Uh, some of you guys are texting win with like exclamation or quotations or anything. Just do win. No, no quotation, no emojis, nothing like that. Just, type, just, just text win. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, actually, yeah. somebody, somebody, met, somebody said that the other week. Now that yeah. I think about it. Yeah, Carol Stoker. Yeah, you texted win with uh, with an emoji, so that that one didn't. But you know, I'm looking at it right now. Um, oh, yeah. So just keep that in mind. Just do win. No, no, you know, punctuation or emoji. That's it. Like that. That's interesting, isn't it? Because it it actually still gets them entered, but it doesn't show. It doesn't give them the yeah. auto. Response. Hmm. That's correct. Yeah, Carol Good Stoker, job. you just texted him properly and you got the response. So yeah, yeah. There we go. Good job, guys. <laughs> hey, there's some uh, problem solving in action yeah. right there. Oh, should like it be? It. Is it case sensitive, Peter? Do you think? Um, no, I, no, I don't it's think not it's case, case sensitive. sensitive, but it's just the just has to be that one word. Okay. Mm, this painting is so warm. When I was looking at the photo earlier today, it made me, it reminded me of like sitting around a campfire or something. It just felt so warm and. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Not nostalgic, wow, really? but very. I don't know what the word is. Beautiful. Renee, you're really like encouraging my heart right now. <laughs> Good. So, so nice. It is. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's like, I mean, and I, I'm pretty sure that the person who took the photograph, like, I'm pretty sure that they did a little bit of editing to the photograph. Oh, um, yeah. Probably. You know, to to make some of the colors stand out. But you know how, I mean, I, I, I noticed this because whenever you take photos of something amazing, you feel kind of disappointed, you know, and it feels like you have to do some editing to make it... <laughs> like more accurate to what you saw. Yeah. And that's what yeah. I feel sometimes. Yeah. But you know what this kind of reminds me of a little bit is um, I can kind of imagine this kind of scene kind of going up um, like the BC coast. Yeah. You know? I know. Hey, Hunt, somebody was asking, um, Matthew Kelly was, he said he noticed you doing the painting critiques on, on YouTube. Yeah. And he's asking, he saw that you were critiquing acrylic paintings, and then he was asking if you critique other other paintings also, maybe in other mediums. Um, um, can I you mean, just talk I, about those painting critiques? Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's just something that Peter and I have done a few times um, for fun, kind of, and then just kind of also just to, we do them for our members. Um, it's just something that somebody requested a while ago and they said, mm -hmm. you know, it would be really helpful is if you would just on a more regular basis, show us some paintings or a painting, just do at least one painting critique when you do your live Q and A. And so I, 
started just by doing one, and then Peter had the idea that we could film we could film them uh, together, and um, instead of necessarily they, they were they weren't necessarily to, to replace the live Q and A one, but they kind of have now because um, I generally will do um, the Q and A, or I mean I'll do like ten during this thing. And um, it's not a problem for me to like critique an oil painting or something like that. But the, the reason that I would hesitate to say that I would, I would do it is because it's generally for, that's generally for our members. Um, just as a, like a way of saying, I'm looking at your work and I'm trying to give mm -hmm. feedback. I, I can't keep up with the amount of work that comes out. You know, there's just too many members and, and too much cool stuff to comment yeah. on, but we can kind of look through and pick a few. And then hopefully what we're, our idea is, is that like, if you are able to listen, even though it's not your painting, it should hopefully give you some yes. ideas of general principles that, that can be applied across the board. Like, okay. Um, you know, I need to work on my, 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 uh, my edges or, you know, the, the design or something like that. And of course, within that too, we, we do offer critiques with, with acrylic university. Like we have our, our friend, Diana shine, who was on here last last week with us. She, she actually, you can pay to get a paint, you know, several paintings critiqued. And it was kind of funny because after having her on last week and we, we talked about that just a little bit, but um, one of our members did it this week and, and she said, she wrote us back and she said, best, like best money, best $45 I've ever invested in like getting <laughs> personal critique back. So it was nice. cool to hear because Diane is awesome and she takes a lot of, um, she, she, she takes time and she's thoughtful. And so that's there now. I don't mean to say all that to like discourage you or like say I, I would never look at one of your paintings, but that's just kind of like priorities for me are I have to make sure that I keep doing this stuff for our members. And, um, mm -hmm. and because of that, it's probably going to lean very heavily towards uh, most of our members at acrylic university are working in acrylics so. though. <laughs> but if you wanted to join and you wanted to throw some uh, oil paintings into the mix, just so that I would uh, look at them. Or if you wanted to get a critique and pay Diana, you know, to do it. Um, I mean, there's no reason why she couldn't do that for an oil painting um, mm -hmm. also. Uh, I'm just going to say goodbye to everyone. I'm going to go hang out with Willow for a little bit. But it looks like you're almost done. And Wait, are amazing. you serious? I'm, I'm so close to being done that you should just stay just, just a tiny bit longer. <laughs> and then you'll be here for the whole thing, Renee. Like, that'll be amazing. Okay, you got to convince Willow to let me stay for five more minutes then. It's... You got to convince Willow. <laughs> Tell me what I can do. I oh, think okay. we're going to pull time. Willow, are you looking for something to do? Is that what you're saying? Mommy, it's with me. We're about to pick the winner, uh, Willow. Okay, stop painting, Jeff. Pick the winner, Peter. Okay, okay I'm done. <laughs> pick All right. the winner. You can pick the winner. I'm going to pick that winner. Who's it going to be? All right. Okay, we have a winner. I'm going to text them, though. And just get a confirmation from there, or from oh. them. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have sent the text to the winner. Check your phones. If you did not get the text, I'm sorry. <sighs> um. <laughs> just can you tell the winner? Cause I wanna know. We can't say the name until they respond. Yeah. We have to make sure that they're still with us. Mm-hmm. We have to make sure that they'll take the painting. 
Guys, I want to just say something right now. Okay, listen up. I'm going to switch this over and I'm going to right. look at the camera. Okay. You're welcome. Whoever Yo, said I'm just setting us hey, follow Willow. Them on. Willow, uh, I can't hear what you're saying, but just give me a minute here, okay? Um, I want to just tell you that I'm very excited about a few things. One, we are going to open up our miniature challenge again for another enrollment in it uh, that will start on Easter. It's actually going to start Easter weekend, so we'll give people access if they're in there already on the Friday before because it's really fun. Everybody gets the painting on Friday, and they can kind of go through it over the weekend. But I want to tell you that I'm also excited because I've been daydreaming and kind of like thinking about next year and um, – this is probably going to be a little bit separate from uh, like the normal acrylic university membership because it's going to involve like a bunch of other people, but we're kind of like thinking through how we can get other in artists involved into that miniature challenge for next year. So it's going to be super awesome. Oh, it looks like we've got um, the winner, um, but yes. that's super exciting. And there's one other thing that I'm super excited about, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, well, I guess it's next week that we're going to have our live class next week. So, Make sure you check, uh, we'll, where are we going to put, we're going to put links out. You should go to our, our, our website. If you want to get an alert about the live yeah. class, if you're not a member or you're not really connected, make sure you go and you like do the contact form, go contact us and just say live class or something like that. And we'll make sure that you get the information and the link to it. Cause it's going to be awesome. It's going to be next Saturday. It's 10 or uh, 9 30, I think AM Pacific mm -hmm. time which is going to be middle of the day for you if you're on the East Coast, but it's going to be a blast. It's going to be two and a half hours, and we're going to work through a painting together. And uh, so anyways, Peter, I'm handing it over to you to tell us who the winner is. Yeah, so the winner um, – here, let me unmaximize you. The winner of tonight's painting is Deborah Soul from uh, Rock Springs, Wyoming. Deborah, all right. Well, congratulations. Deborah. Congratulations, Deborah. We're going to take this painting. We're going to ship it over to you. So make sure mm -hmm. that you uh, stay on and give Peter your information if you already, already have. Did. Awesome. Yep. And we're ready to go. <laughs> you guys, we believe in you. We love you. We're so thankful for you. And for all of us here at Acrylic University, for Peter, for Renee, for Willow, you guys want to say bye? Bye, you guys. It was Bye. fun to hang out Good with night, you. Bye. Good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging Bye. out with us. Thanks for joining.